everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. Yes, we are back with Scooter Street Hoofy at his finest. Fuck you, Jan, and fuck you, Billy. Alright hey guys, Woo, back. here we go. <laughs> uh... Guys, you guys have been sending in questions like crazy. We're trying to answer them as much as we can. <laughs> and then besides that, the Scooter Street Hoofy Dance is coming. Uh, guys, guys, don't forget you, you, you to... Stop doing what you're doing, I'll stop what I'm doing. Don't forget to enter the Getting Rowdy, the unreleased okay, matches two, two, of Roddy Piper Seven, DVD. Seven. We're going to give away a brand new copy for one lucky subscriber. One box. lucky subscriber gets the unreleased. DVD, the right Piper. And tell them how it's done, Scooter. Tosh, you give them the first step, Tom, I'll give them the second step. First of all, you got to be a subscriber to our channel. That's right. And yeah. Scooter Street will tell you the rest. Fuck you. And the second one is, you got to tell us your favorite Roddy Piper match or memory. Easy enough. That's all you got to do to enter. It's not that hard. Because we're only days away. Yeah, just days away. If so. a boopa can do it, you can. Let's let's go with the let's go ahead and get started with this edition of five questions where you guys send in the questions and we answer them for you guys on Q and A. <clears throat> First question is asked by Radical Velocity. Radical Velocity. Who was a wrestler that you were excited to see make a debut, but were disappointed when it happened? A wrestler that I was excited to see debut but had a lackluster debut? Because mm -hmm. Arnie. <laughs> We actually seen Kazarni in OVW, um, so we already knew who he was yeah. when he was doing the SmackDown vignettes back yeah. in the day. Um, what was that? Two thousand and eight. Yeah, two thousand eight. He was doing like SmackDown vignettes, and he did what like yeah, for, like ten weeks or something like that, or yeah. eight weeks, something like that. Shit. And then he comes in, and has his debut against MVP, and that was the end of that. And that was it. And so to me, I got to go with Kazarni. Uh, so you were excited to see him maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause I knew him. Mm -hmm. and, and he had a good gimmick. Mm -hmm. and of course, he couldn't wear the apron PG. <laughs> like Dusty told him. Can't wear the P <laughs> can't wear the bloody apron. You gotta lose PG, brother. PG. And, uh, so they made him a circus guy. Mm hmm And, uh, and then he, uh, debuted against MVP, and that was the end of that. Pops, is there a wrestler that you were excited to make a debut, but you were disappointed when it happened? Really? Let's go to Nick Nick, Nick Dingsmore. Let's go to him. Nick Dingsmore. Oh yes, Eugene. Yeah, boy, that was bad, wasn't it? The guy, the guy was a great fucking talent. Could wrestle around anybody. Oh, look what they did to him. Good lord. I mean, I got I, I got a lot. You got got Nick Dingsmore. You got Rob Conway. You got the Basham Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Got Spirit Squad. <laughs> All these guys are almost fantastic performers, except for Mitch. And then um, the one that rolled <laughs> on his ass like a dog. Yeah, fuck him. All these guys are How actually. How the fuck did he get that lucky to be with Tori Wilson, <laughs> Mister Mister Goddamn rubbing your ass cheeks on, on the mat like that's well, supposed to impress somebody? Well, well, here we go. In my in my opinion, there. Tori knows how to pick them. Tori Wilson. Pick me. <laughs> she, she 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 had beauty. She never had no brains. Guess not. Uh, she she went with Mitch. <laughs> At least Billy Kidman had talent. Uh, definitely, those are the ones that come yeah, to mind. Spirit the most. Squad, the Eugene, Basham Brothers, Rob Conway, uh, the Bashams. Definitely a big letdown for them when they come to the main roster. Now, yeah, Spirit Squad won the World Tag Team titles, and and yeah, the Bashams were WWE Tag Team Champions. But I mean, and so and so was so was Rob Conway, but and so was Nick Dunsmore when you yeah. think about it. So, like, I mean. Yeah, they won title, you know, the tag two titles, but they didn't win anything else, really. Yeah. Um, but, so, you know, if you guys never saw them, uh, it rolled it, their, it all their talents, you should watch over you that know, back in the day, you know, uh, because those guys were just so great back then. But, you know, when you go, when, it's, just, it's, it's the way it is right now, it did just like NXT. You know, those that are great in NXT when they come to the main roster, have mercy on them. Definitely the ones that came from OBW were world big disappointments. Yeah. Now, I mean, I, I, I knew some of them weren't going to be fucking dog shit. I knew fucking 
the I knew heart, Snitsky wasn't going nowhere. The heart yeah. throbs weren't, weren't going to yeah. go nowhere. I knew a lot of them weren't going nowhere. But yeah. some of the ones that I knew were talented, that were good and everything. Like Eminem. And they, and, yeah, you know. Yeah. They kind Deuce of, and Domino. Yeah, well, Deuce and Domino was a letdown. You know? Because they were top. They, they were a top team. Yeah, yeah. they were a top team. Uh, let's go with the next question asked by TN Couponer. Oh, the yeah, baby. Deals the deal maker. The deal maker. Go, go check out TN Couponer's channel. If you guys want to learn how to coupon and save some dough, because we know here at WrestleMania, yeah. we save that dough. Mm, damn right. Uh, you so, can tell by looking at our set. That's right. <laughs> the fucking WR Studios. <laughs> yeah. Remember, uh, we, live, we live in a log cabin. Yeah, we, we live... Oh, by the way, people say that we live in a log cabin. We live in a trailer, even though this is fake wood. But... Yeah. Uh, That's how stupid people are. Uh, this is this is my room, and yes, it is it is wood paneling, but the rest of the house is not wood paneling. Yeah, dumb fuck. <laughs> For uh, some odd reason, this room is. I don't know why. But, but just check your register straight. I can fish, I can hunt, and I can be a trout behind. <laughs> Uh, TQ Ponder's channel, go check out his, his, uh, channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Tell him rest of Rampage, WR sent you. His first question is, favorite memories or matches of Eddie Marlin? Um, late last week, uh, Eddie Marlin passed away, uh, I believe he was like 87 or something. I mean, he's fucking old. Yeah, he was really old. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is the thing is, uh, Eddie... Some people may not know who Eddie Marlin is. Uh, yeah, older, older wrestler in in, in the '60s. Yeah, um, uh, even in the '70s, uh, he even wrestled a little bit in the '80s as well. But by the '90s, he did a lot of um, producing for uh, Memphis Television yeah. for the USWA. He was the matchmaker. Yeah, he was. Uh, so, um, and he just recently passed away. Now, yeah. I heard for a while now because if you guys listen to Jim Cornette's podcast. Uh, uh, he just, he actually went and seen Eddie Marlin recently, like a, about a month ago or something like that. And he said that Eddie's in pretty bad shape. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, Eddie's a tough guy and he thought he could pull through it, which, which he did for a little while. Yeah. Uh, and uh, sadly enough, he passed away. What are some of your memories and uh, or favorite matches of Eddie Marlin? Well, I don't know about matches, but... Uh... Yeah, matches for me and Tommy... I didn't really watch a lot of Eddie Marlin matches because it was not during the times that I was watching wrestling. Yeah. But I do remember on, like... On USWA, he was the matchmaker and make matches. And, and then not only that, but if, if something broke out or something... He'd, he'd always be there. You're <laughs> here, Lance Russell. Let's get Eddie Marlin yeah. out here. We need Eddie Marlin <laughs> out here. Because nobody's going to fuck with Eddie Marlin. <laughs> no, everybody knows what's fucking with Eddie Marlin. He's a tough guy. You don't want to fuck with Eddie Marlin. When Eddie Marlin's out there, you don't want to... Then my other favorite, you know, Jimmy Hart when he came to the WWE, when he went to the WWE, remember they were doing the invasion of the USWA. Yeah. And fucking, and fucking, and Jerry, and Jerry Lawler and Jeff Jarrett were the number one team in the country or whatever in the, in the, in the, in the magazine. And he goes, oh, you know how, and Jimmy Hart goes, oh, you know how, you know how Jerry Lawler and Jeffrey Jarrett got that, did you? Eddie Marlin pulled out that dusty wallet. He blew it out, <laughs> grabbed those crinkled dollar bills, and paid somebody to put that in there. <laughs> I actually like J uh, uh, Jimmy Hart's Memphis stuff. More. Oh yeah, like Jimmy Hart more than Memphis his stuff WWF great. stuff. Uh, Pops. But I have to go. Eddie Marlin was a great matchmaker in USWA. He he was a tough guy too. Uh, he didn't take no shit from any of them wrestlers. That's take. right. So. Uh, and, and, and same same for me with, with Tommy as well. Um, more of my memories of him uh, behind the scenes yeah. in, in USWA in Memphis more than it is on, on camera. Uh, Pops. Uh, I remember when uh, uh, Eddie Martin used, used to wrestle, he, he, he teamed with uh, Tommy Gilbert. Yes, they, yeah, yes, they, they, they were yeah. tag and, yes. and, and And they became the United States Tag Team Champions mm -hmm. and, and, and World Tag Team Champions. Uh, they they ruled in that day and time. They ruled the Memphis area as being tag team. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, and, and, and if you guys don't know who Tommy Gilbert is, that's he's, Eddie Gilbert's uh, dad. Yeah, and Doug Gilbert. Sadly yep, enough. and Doug Gilbert. <laughs> and, and here, here's the thing: they they wrestled all over the world uh, as tag teams, but 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 their main branch was right there in Memphis, mm -hmm. and 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 they they signed a contract that 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 if, that if you want to face up, you have to have one match. 
with us in Memphis. That right there was in their contract. And, but but and, but uh, I, I remember I remember the, the times you know that uh, when when Eddie got Eddie got older, he he, he 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 would take bumps. Now this old man would get out there in that ring and he would take bumps. He'd get knocked down. Mm -hmm. uh, he still got knocked down yeah. even his match man. Yeah. I, I, I still remember the, the, the things with the with with the the, the my, my South Jimmy Hardy said he, when it, when things didn't go didn't go right in his matches, you know Eddie Marlin, what he's gonna have to do is he, he he's gonna have to go 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 to a, go to an eye doctor get them glasses changed because darn deed if you didn't see what happened that right there match then you do need glasses. Well, what happened is he's too old to do this right here stuff. His eyes are fading. You can tell his body ain't worth, that. Ain't worth nothing. So it was a constant thing. that They would always bring Eddie into something. And Eddie would play it out. It was, it, it, I mean, even though as old as he was, he would still play it out. No doubt. And uh, rest in peace, Eddie Marlin, yep. and condolences for uh, him and sure his family as well. I love you. <laughs> Next question also asked by T&Q Ponder, who would you... Who would you had uh, to break the streak of Goldberg in WCW? If I had to choose to break the streak. Yeah. Now, as you guys know, it was it was Kevin Nash. Well, that's politics. Uh, and, no, I'm being honest. And the he stun that. <laughs> and uh, and Scott Hall with the stun gun. Yeah. No, really. I, uh, Nash had the book, and of course he wanted to be the guy to beat fucking Goldberg. Mm -hmm. He had the he had the stroke. He had the pencil. <laughs> this stroke and this stroke. Yeah, well, that too. I like Nash. Don't yeah, get me wrong, but, but I'm just still. saying he had the book. You didn't have to book yourself. Yeah, he booked himself. Uh, hmm. now, 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 when I'm thinking about it, you got to think about: Do you want somebody that is can make an impact? Yeah. Do you want somebody that needs a push? Yeah. Do you need somebody that's just coming into WCW? Yeah. And can have a major impact. Those would be the three things that Nash didn't fit those bills, no. in my opinion. The person that I thought could have ended the streak is the one he faced at Halloween Havoc 98, Diamond Dallas Page. Diamond Dallas Page. No, that's... he could have. Yeah. Because he was that close from beating Goldberg. Yeah, until the fucking goddamn fucking uh, <laughs> paper you went out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to go with Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah. DDP. And one I like DDP, so I'm going with Diamond Dallas Page. Um... That's a good one, but I would also throw in, because it's not too long until we got Bret the Hitman Hart. Well, Bret Hart would have been a good one, too. To come in, because when you think about Bret Hart's career in WCW, not that stellar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could have been Bret Hart, too. It would it would, yeah. it, it would have done something for Bret Hart in WCW to have beaten Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. And of course, they, I don't and then not only that, but he was one of the hottest wrestlers in the WWF. Would it yeah. make sense for him to come into WCW and actually... I mean, I wouldn't say he would demolish Goldberg or anything. But, but he'd I be think, the first guy to beat Goldberg. I, th I think it would be a longer match because Goldberg had the short matches. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be a longer match. Maybe outwinded Goldberg. Yeah, I think I, something I, like that. Yeah, I think I, I think that, 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 that he would he, he would have extended Goldberg's match length. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I and I and I do think that, that, that and then he, of course the yeah. and, and then of course the commentators have to have to yeah. have to hit those points too. You know yeah. Goldberg's matches are less than five minutes. You know this is about a 15, 20 minute match. Yeah. You know Goldberg's not used to going this yeah. fucking long. You know and all this stuff. So you know you gotta you gotta have it. I would think Bret Hart or DDP would have been a, yeah. a, a better choice than than, than Nash. Yeah, I, I I agree, but it's like Tommy says, it was all politics. Mm -hmm. And another one that could have done it was Sting. Yeah, yeah. Sting. But 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 then but but they never gave Sting an even second ball. Yeah. yeah. Uh, St Sting always got uh, uh, always got pushed to the wayside. Well, of course, he, even once the WWF guys came in, Sting was second thought. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, definitely, I, I'd, I'd either go with Bret Hart or, or DDP. Yeah, but I threw Sting in there because he was a good option too. But. but if I had to choose, it would have been more Bret Hart or DDP because yeah. one, it would have helped Bret. In WCW, because he didn't get diddly poo in No, he didn't. Until, until fucking finally they give him the world title. Which still didn't mean that much. Yeah. It still didn't mean that much, because Brad got hurt a couple months after that. Mm -hmm. but By you, Goldberg, but nonetheless. As we all but, know, back in, back in that right there day, it, it was not who you knew, it was who you blow. 
And, there you go. And like I said, I like Kevin Nash. Don't get me wrong, but I think he used the fucking the Booker card to to be the one to beat Goldberg at, and, and I thought it was a dumb decision. Well, agreed. You, you got to think that back in that right there day, they ran the whole goddamn show. And 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 where was Eric Bischoff's mind at? You know, he could have easily said, "Nah, Nash, you ain't booking yourself." Probably too busy on the Harley. Yeah, probably too busy on the Harley. <laughs> or go to Sturgis. He, 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 he or, was going to Sturgis and want to be a part of the NWO crew. Or he was too busy. He, 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 he was too busy cutting his fucking hair. Let's go with the next uh, question asked by Ryan Hadley. Thoughts on Psycho Sid? Love do, Sid. Do, 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 do. I, with, if with, I had to choose my... <laughs> with the crazy eyes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I liked Psycho Sid. Mm -hmm. I didn't really care too much for Sid when he came back in WCW. The like, Millennium Man. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't enjoy that type yeah. of Sid. Like, and then I enjoyed... Huh? <laughs> then he breaks his leg. Yeah. Like, I... Like, That's later a WCW. Thing to me. Later WCW, I'm with that big fan of Sid. But when he was Psycho Sid, I liked him better. When he was Michelle in the WWF. Michael's. <laughs> Michelle Michaels from the WWF. When, 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 when he was Psycho Sid in WWF. That's when, I didn't even like him when he was in WWF for Sid Justice. Hey, Tyler, who's the man? Oh, I love it. Who's the man? You're the man, baby. You're the man. <laughs> I'm very definitely going to watch that. <laughs> Classic. And um, I had to go. I enjoyed him. Him, I didn't even like him as Sid Justice when he first came into WWE. I liked him better as Psycho Sid. Because when you think about it, Sid, Sid is kind of crazy anyway. Yeah, and I enjoy it because it fit him. Mm -hmm. and, and he was the only good worker out of the Million Dollar Corporation. <laughs> I'm being honest. Do, 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 do. Besides Bam Bam Bigelow. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three, kid. Uh, well, that was. Oh, well, yeah, I forgot. One, two, three, kid was in there. Yeah. Uh, he was probably the third best worker, in my yeah. opinion. But I enjoyed Psycho Sid. Like, in a, like I enjoyed him as WWE champion, too. Mm -hmm. I really did. I didn't care for him being Shawn Michaels' bodyguard. Though. Well, I didn't like that either. That's... How to bring him in. They bring yeah. him in as fucking Shawn's bodyguard. Uh, oh, he's getting the diesel treatment, huh? <laughs> yeah. And, and the, but my favorite, my, my favorite was when Sid turned on Shawn. You're giving me the night off! A power bomb. <laughs> and, and, and then fucking yeah. On their next rematch, Big Sid, you got the night off. Cause I guess, cause Sid cost him at WrestleMania 11. He goes, nobody tells me gives me a night off. And then he goes, I'm all sore and everything else. Sean's sore and shit. And then when Sean turns his back, big clothesline over the head, power bomb. Sean falls on his face. <laughs> yes. And then he had to do about two or three other power bombs, which I enjoyed that. <laughs> I know you did. Oh, I did. <laughs> And, and and I and then he had a shitty match with Diesel, but you know that's what that is. Pops Psycho Sid. Psycho Sid. I, I I really didn't care that much for him. I really didn't. But I have to respect him when he broke his fucking ankle. My God, can, can, can you? You know, we, we we said this before. You know, these wrestlers they come in, they get and they actually get hurt in the ring. Mm -hmm. But these motherfuckers will tough it out and continue the match. <laughs> he just stood there with his fucking ankle. Well, yeah. he, couldn't, he couldn't get up. Yeah, and, and, and a fucking roll or animal fucking coming out in the goddamn yeah, chase no mask. <laughs> yeah. Nobody gave a fuck. And no and, pop air. It's like... <laughs> no pop. No it's, pop. It's like, <laughs> <That's> damn. <laughs> you know, I, I, I get crushed to these fuckers, you know. And then, uh, not only that, but he also had a, had, had a, had a good stint in ECW. Yes, he did. Uh, you know, taking on the Impact players. There. Yep. Uh, but uh, I actually like Psycho Sid. Um, I mean, Sid wasn't one of my favorites or nothing. But, but I really enjoyed watching him wrestle. Uh, but, I, but I enjoyed some of his matches. Yeah, he stuff. had a few good matches. Uh, and and I de definitely if I choose my favorite incarnation of, of, of Sid, it would be Psycho Sid. Yeah. Over Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, uh, yeah. the Millennium Man. I didn't and, like that. And uh, uh, I curse you, Hulk Hogan! Uh, let's go with the last question for this edition of Five Questions. Asked by Joe Long. Joe, mow the line. And, 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 and I did mow the line yeah. because uh, it, it needed to happen and uh, we're having rain for like the next fucking like, yeah. week and a half. So I'm, I'm glad I mowed the line. Let's go with Joe Long's question. What do you think of handsome Doc Hendricks as a character and as a announcer during the WWF New Generation era? I'm gonna say right now I love Michael Hayes. Yes, I really do. I like Michael Hayes. 
A lot of people shit on Michael Hayes and say, oh, he's not a good worker. Well, you don't have to be a good worker. He has charisma. Mm -hmm. He can cut a fucking promo. He's, he's decent. He's a decent like... worker. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be the best fucking worker in the world. Yeah, you, you don't have to. And, you know? You don't have to put on the Dave Meltzer five-star matches every goddamn yeah. week. And, and I enjoyed Michael Hayes. Mm -hmm. And when he came as Doc Hendricks, I didn't like the goddamn game. I, I, and he cut his hair. He cut his hair. He, he shaved off the beard. He had the mustache. Then. Yeah, he, he still had the mustache. But I enjoyed the slam jam. Every time I would see the Undertaker uh, uh, cardboard cut Sandy, out, the Bret Hart, the Shawn, Michaels. the Shawn Michaels, the Diesel, and I enjoyed the old Doc Hendricks picture. <laughs> yes, every time you hear, oh, hello, it's Doc Hendricks here. Yeah, right? Doc Hendricks. Right here on Slam Jam. And I enjoyed what, seeing the WrestleMania the arcade game over there. <laughs> Yes. And then you see the, the big painting. The big painting of Doc Henry. <laughs> I thought he was a good announcer. Yeah. And, and but then again, I mean, if you go back and watch any of his Michael Hayes promos, yeah. you can tell You that. knew he could talk, so I enjoyed him on commentary. Now, of course, you know, I didn't care too much for the character. Yeah. But, you know, it's still Michael Hayes. It's still Michael Hayes. And I so. like Michael Hayes. Uh, Paz, what you think about, about uh, Doc yeah, Hendricks? I, I didn't like the Doc Hendricks thing, but but I did like Michael Hayes. You know, you, it, it, Michael Hayes. Uh, I yeah, p people may may have may have said you know that that he wasn't good, but he but to me, you didn't have he had charisma. He knew what he was doing in the ring, and he was very good at that. I mean, if you can hit all three yeah. things, if you have charisma, yeah, if you can cut a promo, and yeah. if you're at least a decent worker. Yeah. Those are the three things that yeah. are going to measure to success. Yeah, you, you see that, and, and we, we got we got a lot of these guys out here, you know, bad, bad mouthing the other wrestlers, you know, like like Dusty Rhodes. They, they bad mouth and called him lazy and shit like that right there. Fuck you, honky tonk man. Uh, but to me, <laughs> uh, but to me, the, the, those people to me are, are, are like are like short uh, oh, yeah. having, you know, they're they're, they're to me they're shortcomings because they didn't have that. You know, the, yeah, the Honky Tonk Man had, 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 you know, was 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 supposed to be the great, the longest intercontinental champion, but that's all we had. Hell, Dusty Rhodes. That's all we needed. Right? That's, that's, yeah, that's all we needed. But, but you know, Dusty Rhodes had charisma. He knew how to talk on the mic, and he was a fantastic wrestler. And he was a fantastic wrestler. You know, it just, it was just like, yeah, there you just, go. Just like Ric Flair said, said, you know, most people didn't think as big as he was, he could move around. He could have an hour match, and and that right there was the stint of it. And plus, uh, the new generation era wasn't that great. No. <laughs> but that's just me. No. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, that's it for this edition of Five Questions. If you guys enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Don't forget to enter the Roddy Piper DVD giveaway. We're going to be giving away a brand new copy. Yeah, August 27th, when it comes out. So make sure you guys come back to the channel, because we are giving that away to one lucky subscriber, guys. Yes, we uh, are. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you each and every day right here for one of the best ever wrestling YouTube channels going to Wrestling Rampage. Because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream to the cross. And nobody does it better, baby! Have a good